It is high noon on the campus of the University of Connecticut, the defending national champions. And today they get the chance to play their final home preseason game before they get into the Big East Conference schedule as they take on the Golden Lions of Arkansas Pine Bluff. As we mentioned, coming off a Tuesday win against North Carolina at the Garden of New York City, 87-76. Pine Bluff continues on the road. They were big losers at Gonzaga, 111-71 in Spokane, Washington earlier in the week. That open up on his, with the zone. Caravan, great shooter, straight on. Got it. This team has proven that they could score. So they're going to come out aggressively on offense. You know that. Caravan, free look. He's got an unusual rotation on that shot. Caravan <laughs> exchanges with Paul. Spencer frees himself. There's Klingon, put back, got it. To do it as a group. Nice movement by French. Blocked by Klingon. Sends it to the second row. Now Klingon had to come out for a long run there to contest that one. He's got the size advantage inside. Klingon had his hand up as soon as he got to the lane. 35 years old. Named head coach at Pine Bluff. Oh, it's too easy on the inbound. I believe this has surprised the Connecticut kids after seeing these guys lose by 40 at Gonzaga. Around the world a couple of times it goes down. Stutter step clinging right there and they take it away. Here. Throw it in direct like that. Ooh, Ooh, lost left. his footing. He wanted it back. He's in tight where he wants to be. And he gets it to go with the left hand. Back and take contested jumpers because if he gets this deep with the defense on his back, it's just over. Going inside, blocked, gets it back. UConn takes over. And Rashad Williams was denied. Diara. Oh, good stutter step. Good rhythm. That's a fine play by Robert Lewis. Yeah, it, it played into Lewis's advantage. There's Stewart driving to the basket. Jalen Stewart. Good show and recover. Blocked by Johnson. He gave Kylan Milton a lot of credit for challenging, but boy, I don't know. Started out front with the recovery of the pick and roll defense. That is high elevation. Was right where he wanted to be, but didn't finish the play. I try to finish those. That was good hesitation and a look. Castle right down the lane, and it's in there. Hence the timeout. Well, they're excited. One of the top freshmen in the country gets totally healthy because he's crafty with the basketball. Can penetrate. Newton had it knocked out of his hand for a moment. Castle probing goes in. That's beautiful English. And catch a teammate, but he saw the opportunity. Let's change of pay. Woo! Ooh! Third row special! <laughs> Souvenir! Oh, what a rejection! And Dave Sims by the six foot three freshman guard. Get up there, Mr. Ball. In the half court, the one, two, two looks like a three, two. Clanging back in the game in a corner to go, corner jump shot. Look at that follow! Challenge with his zone, corner three is that Newton comes flying from the top of the key with everyone pinched down to the baseline. And knocked away. As Milton got too deep. Clinging influence. Here's Newton. They got numbers. Big man's open. They can't get it to him. Throw that up there. Spencer, free look. Count it. a double figure lead what a big time sequence they try to pull the yukon and slip the screener pins it against the glass and then the freshman ball doing a terrific job of slowing himself down he goes left too strong rebound click clean 
And their ball pressure is woke up too. They got a pep in their step now. Newton step around, got it! Solomon Bald to Klingon. Oh, nice look cut by Kerrigan. The Caravan. Caravan is such a high basketball IQ, never stops moving without the rock. Screen, back cut, constant motion and action to the hoop. That's what. Spencer rolling to the hoop is Klingon. Didn't finish. And at that time, it... change of pace, Newton. Oh. Good luck. Caravan. They had a chance to think about that one for a while and took his time. Oh, you got to make that shot. Another free look. That's a nice looking stroke, Cam Spencer. French has got 10 points. Newton from way outside. Looking for somebody to bail him out. Oh. He rolls to the basket. Cross court. Castle. Hesitation gets it back out. Feet set. Let's it fire. Nothing there. Rebound. Caravan. Easiest shot. He's going to have all night. It's actually luck. But they really do look for each other. Knocked down jumper Cam Spencer. Initially closes out on the catch and shoot situation. Spencer's got nine. Martin looking for help. Good defense. Look out. Great call by Nathan That Hall. defense was outstanding. Connecticut 14 of 18 from the line. Backdoor cut. We get that pass through. Ball movement. Tell you what. Ryder Regular still in here for UConn. Caravan, a deep three. Mm. That's his calling card, everybody. Hit his first two shots. They were both threes. Castle. Oh, boy. He was calling for it. Alley oop. And another nice delivery. Dan Hurley getting this crowd up. I think they're enjoying themselves. Turnover for Pine Bluff. And if there was ever a team that needs a timeout, it's Pine Bluff right now. Mm. Turnover. And a breakout for Connecticut. A little too strong to put back. Boy, they got an answer for everything, don't they? I'll tell you what, that's his zip code right there. Afraid. Got to give Williams. It's a moxie. Boy. Who can't shoot a three on this team? Left it short. Hello. Ducks in a barrel. That corner shot has been open all day. Going to drive it. Finger roll. Count it. This guy's doing a good job looking for each other. Piara got to where he wanted to go and made it work. And that will do it. A tough week for Pine Bluff and Connecticut with not a surprising win, but certainly a dominant win, 101 to 63.